What else do you have to do? You gotta just start investing. Welcome to the Million Dollar Challenge. Hello everyone, my name is Kasim. Welcome to the Million Dollar Challenge. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how much I made last year on Terra. I'm transparent with how I'm trying to make money, how I'm trying to build my wealth, how I'm trying to build my net worth. That is why the channel is called Million Dollar Challenge. I'm dedicated to showing you how I'm planning on making two things, building my net worth to the first million. That's the first goal. The second goal is to show you guys how I plan on making this happen and making a million dollars a year. And I challenge you, create that type of goal for yourself to first get to a million dollars in net worth and at the same time trying to make a million dollars as well. I want to tell you about how I started, what I did, how much I made, and just round up last year, cap it, and just talk about the numbers, my process, what I did, and some of the things that I'm inspiring to do this year. I'm gonna break down every single vehicle that I have and how much each and every single one of them makes. I have a Turo car rental business, and I've been able to grow it to roughly about five vehicles of my own, and I manage three vehicles for another person. The main part of the car rental business is having the assets, having the vehicle. Last year, I made almost $40,000 last year. I've broken down the money that I made, how I made it, the breakdown of everything. We're gonna talk about that in today's video. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So welcome to the desktop. The first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the inventory of vehicles that I have my own vehicle that I currently own. So we're gonna talk about when I put them into service uh, last year. Right here is my Ford Focus, my 2017 Ford Focus. Typically it goes out for anywhere between 48 to about 55. That's the range that it goes out. Currently it's 48, but summertime is coming, so I'm going to slowly be bumping that price up about 55, which is where it should be. So the first car is 2017 Ford Focus. And then after that, I purchased a few more cars. Second car that I purchased was this Fiesta here and it's a Ford Fiesta 2019. And then the third car that I purchased was a Ford Focus 2018. Towards the later part of the year, I was able to purchase these two car in one day at once and that was the ford fusion 2022 and also a chevy sonic which is this one i want to talk about the numbers how much in the vehicle made so here is the breakdown of the first vehicle the first vehicle it's a ford focus the first month was good we we earned 70 78 dollars then Next month was a little bit better. The next one was better. The next one was better. The next one was better. Here was a little slower. Well, here was better. Here was better. Here was better. Here was better. So towards the end of the year, I had an issue with this vehicle and the vehicle engine needed to be replaced. So that was what happened while the income was so drastic. You guys see you guys see the difference here the money was coming in for this car but unfortunately it gets hit me up and say hey the car won't accelerate and we just had to you know take the vehicle in to the dealership so let's talk about vehicle number two vehicle number two here it's a 2019 ford fiesta it earned consistent money last year it earned about eight thousand dollars six and a half thousand dollars um i did not get this car fully on the platform until the end of march june i don't know what happened to the car i can't remember in july it went back back up july august was good september was good so this car basically makes on average about 850 to a thousand dollars consistently all throughout last year and it ended up making pretty good money vehicle number three let's talk about vehicle number three so with a third car we made just over eight thousand dollars the car earned about eight thousand one hundred and forty four dollars this is the breakdown here may june july august september october november 
and December. It's been great so far and it's just nice. This car has been one of the most reliable vehicles that I've had. Vehicle number four, let's go. The last two vehicles that I have was purchased towards the later part of last year, around September. When I purchase a vehicle, I have to do a whole lot of things to get the car ready and start making, making money. This is a 2018 Chevrolet Sonic. It's actually a hatchback. It's a pretty nice car. This started earning money early October, roughly about $1,800, almost $2,000. Well, I did not purchase this vehicle until like September time and it made $800 in October, $600 in November, $400 in December. A lot of things happened in December. So I was not able to capture the full potential for this car. This is what for the vehicle earned. Now let's talk about vehicle number five. Last year it earned $2,832. The last two vehicles was purchased roughly on the same day. It earned eight, eight, seven, seven, almost $900. This earned 1200 and here it earned almost 700 towards December. So it was pretty good amount of money that the vehicle earned. So let's talk about the grand total amount of money that actually entered my pocket last year. I'm now going to break it down in terms of how much I paid to her. Let's talk about how much money I got paid, the net income after Tura takes the fees. So here we are. This is the total amount of money that actually came into my pocket last year it was twenty eight thousand eight hundred and forty six dollars majority of that coming from the actual earnings reimbursement now last year people did not do too many crazy things with the vehicle like in terms of smoking in the car or anything like that they didn't do it the way i operate my tour business i don't charge people for anything that they don't do if you smoke in the car i'll charge you for it i operate this business with integrity because i want to be here for a long time this is how much i made last year and collectively here is how much i basically made if we're gonna break down all the vehicles yes i did that and you would do it too for a check my top performing vehicle last year was the black ford it's obvious because that's the first one that i purchased and i had the chance to work the whole year last year that it had to go in because the engine got damaged and they had to replace the new engine and then the next one was the orange car. It was the 2018 Ford Focus, and I made about 8,000 as well. The Fiesta made about 7,500. The Ford Fusion 2020 made about 2,800. And the Chevy made about almost 2,000. This is the money that actually came into my pocket. So now let's talk about tour fees because tour creates the marketplace. So obviously they have to get paid and they get paid based off of the amount of money I paid. Dude, I have the 25% plan with Turo. I paid Turo 25% of the net earnings. Now granted, the money that I pay Turo is a tax deductible amount. It's a business expense for me because I needed to pay Turo in order to operate on the to a marketplace because Tura owns a marketplace and I pay them as a service fee to operate on their marketplace. So I had to pay them to use Tura. Now here's the amount that I paid Tura. I pay them 25% because I'm on the 25% plan. Well, I'm on the 25% plan and I pay them $9,276. This is the amount of money that I paid Tura last year i always look at this in terms of how it benefits me because that money that i paid to her helps reduce the amount of money that i made on Turo. and you guys realize that that's basically almost half of the income that i made last year on Turo right here almost half of the income that i made last year on Turo is going to be straight up tax deductible first right off the bat because of Turo fees so because of these fees that I had to pay here, it makes it tax deductible. Half of the money that I made on Turo, it's going towards expenses. So now for the big, big thing here is that I want to show you how much I made. That's why I said it's almost 40 grand, but let me show you actually how much I made. I made $38,122 
88 cents. Now this is gross. The total amount of money that I made on Turo, almost 40,000. I'm grateful. You know, it's not easy to make this money. So really quickly, let's talk about some stats that are actually quite important. But first and first, the most important thing when it comes to this business is the vehicles not selling. And you guys can see the January here. I didn't have anything. And then February, I only had one car. So it's a hundred percent. It was busy. And then I added one more car, it's 80, then both cars got busy. In general, over time, all throughout last year, the vehicle were really busy and they were being used about 70% of the time. So, which is a good thing. This year, I'm going to work on making sure that the vehicles get used maybe about 75% of the time. But January, the first quarter of this year got started pretty badly. It wasn't busy in January, it wasn't busy in February. Things just picked up in March. So I wanted to share with you guys the breakdown of the revenues here. This is to, uh, the revenue that I got paid. There's some fees, right? Last minute booking, if you don't schedule yourself earlier, then there's extra charges for that. There's excess mileage. If you use more mileage than given to you by the host, additional use um, charges, that's if you use it for a few more days so like all those extra things like smoking or anything like that uh extra i don't know exactly uh delivery those are the delivery fees cancellation fee and then we have some few discounts discounts here but here is the breakdown of that on a monthly basis how all the income breaks breaks down right so really love the the interesting data that casting gives us here prepaid fuel so i have an option where people can pay for fuel before they book so they can bring the car back empty unlimited miles i guess one, one person booked that throughout the year and then we have reimbursements here the breakdown smoking fee so it's 250 dollars every time someone smokes in the car uh gas reimbursement the amount of time i have to pay for people's gas that they didn't top up and then there's a there's a $10 fee for that as well there's tolls here there's cleaning fee and then this is the total gas inconvenience fee it's $10 each time so I had to do it eight times last year it was a smooth business to go for it to start it was a smooth business to go into then it becomes you know passive but yeah, this is the breakdown. Let's move on to the next segment here. So let's talk about fleets, active cars. So on average, three cars were being used on a consistent basis. I have five vehicles and three of them gets used on a consistent basis. If you're factoring fees and stuff, this is the average revenue per vehicle. Uh, you know, some months will be higher, some months will be lower. So this was a good month. Where the months here where we made a thousand and a half dollars for each of the vehicle but on average we have 825 in revenue for each car we have another interesting stat here this stat is number of reservations and we had a total of 129 reservation great i had almost 130 people that booked my vehicle last year i hope this year the numbers will be much higher so it's good thank you to every single one of you guys you guys know i love my customers i appreciate you guys so much you know you guys put food on my table so i appreciate you so last but not least here we have the average rates this is the amount of money that comes to me after tour takes their fee about 39 dollars now i want to bump this up to about 40 so i know i need to get more vehicles but when you have a lot more vehicles, this average income should go up. Hopefully we can bump it up to about 45 per vehicle on average. So on average here, we look a little bit more uh, further breakdown. We have uh, the top performing vehicle. I already shared this with you guys. The utilization and all this stuff are pretty good. I want to get them to at least 75 and above. And then you can see the average income for each vehicle. The most important part right here is this. When you're renting your vehicle, you do put a lot of miles on your vehicle so where you make money is when you purchase the vehicle do you purchase the vehicle at a low miles and you purchase it at a good price can you recover the money that you've paid for the vehicle in the space of a couple of months because these vehicles maybe you can have them for four years if you're lucky five years 
and you're going to make your money back but you do rack up a lot of mileage on the vehicle the other thing i also want to mention is that this mileage this is a huge huge tax write-off against your other income this is a huge tax write-off against your other income because the irs let you write off x amount of money per mile this is the irs website and you guys can see here for business mileage right business mileage which all these vehicles their business miles the government let you write off so they break it down into two oh here is it right here this is the breakdown the mileage breakdown directly from the irs website and let's check the average so the average mileage deduction for, for 2022 for business generally allow you to claim 63 cents per mile if you are self-employed last year for business for all the vehicles i can write off 63 cents because this is called depreciation because the usage of your mileage is a real thing it's a cost across all the vehicle i can deduct 78,737 miles let's do the quick calculation right here we have point 63 cents times we have 78,000 because this is what we're talking about we have 78,000 right here 70,737 miles and then you add that up what does that give you gives you almost 50 grand in a tax write-off so that, that puts you in a negative. It can be a positive and it can be a negative because negative looks bad in terms of, oh, you made negative income. Why that and why? This is business. But if you don't want to pay tax, this is the game right here. The name of the game is with this business, you use your cars to make money. Because you use your car to make money, the car goes down in value, but you capture those values by taking the depreciation on the car, right? So if you have other income or your spouse have another income and they pay tax, because of all this tax write-off that we have, you're talking almost 50 grand here. So this gives you a huge and amazing tax write-off. Tour fees, tax write-off, mileage on the vehicle tax write-off, phone bill tax write-off, rent tax write-off. The name, the name of the, of the game, game is just having the ability to make money and, and the money stays at home. This, this is, is the hack that I'm talking about. about. This is why I tell you that the government is on your side when you're a business owner. This, this is an interesting, interesting number to talk about. So on average, each vehicle goes out for five days. So yeah, that is it for today. I'm not going to make this video too long. This video has been insightful to me because knowing that even though you're out there trying to make money the asset that you're using to make money goes down in value over time especially when you're talking about a vehicle it goes down in value so much that you might have so much losses on your taxes this is a hack here and i love it you know if i factor in depreciation and everything like that you factor it into the amount of money you are made then you're talking that made maybe like seven eight eighty thousand dollars but, but this is not just actual, actual cash, cash that's coming in. in. I appreciate you for watching. If you have any question, put it down below. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, see you later. Love you all. Bye.